This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit with no idea of the adventures about to befall him or their consequences. My precious, it must know the way out! the trees. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. He lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined. But not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. The next day, Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. At dawn, we begin the quest of a lonely mountain. We will win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain, reclaim our treasure, and have revenge. On the cursed dragon smile. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Oh. Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. You've slept half the morning, Mr. Baggins. That won't convince Thorin that you're a fierce burglar. Hmm. I'll show him if I have to walk to the east of east and fight the wild wereworms in the last desert. For now, you'll just have to walk to the Green Dragon Inn. The dwarves are waiting. But get No time for it, and no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> he regretted leaving home almost immediately. In the dangerous lonelands, they found themselves cold, wet, and low on food. Suddenly, Balin noticed the light of a fire. Thorin sent their new burglar, Bilbo, to investigate. Now it's the burglar's turn. Scuttle off and investigate that fire light. See if it's safe. Oh, can't go back now. Oh my. Ugh. Mutton yesterday, mutton today, and blimey, it don't look like mutton again tomorrow. Not a blinking bit of man flesh have we had. Shut your mouth. You can't expect folk to stop here just to be eaten by you and Bert. <gasps> Three wicked, huge trolls. Oh, oh I, I'd better tell the dwarves. Oh. But they'll just say that a really first-class burglar would have picked the troll's pockets. Oh, wait, a pocketbook. I could sneak past them when they aren't looking and take it. Oh, I'll need to stay away from those noisy leaves, though. Here, who are you? 
Blimey, look what I've copped! When the dwarves crept up to investigate, the trolls popped them all into sacks. Suddenly, the trolls started arguing. Gandalf imitated their voices and tricked them into a nasty fight. They fought until dawn. When the sun rose, the trolls turned to stone. The trolls must have a cave nearby to hide from the sun. We must look into it. Find the troll cave, Bilbo. Gandalf said he left our company to look ahead. I asked him what brought him back in time, and he said, looking behind. It's an elf. Oh, and she's hurt. Help me. I was injured by three trolls. I barely managed to escape into these caves. My healing draft is in the next chamber. But I'm too weak to get it. Can you bring it to me? could see me now. Oh, thank you, friend. I am Liana of the Wood Elves. Bilbo Baggins of the Shire, at your service. I'm searching for the Troll Cave. Do you know how I can find it? You will need this if you want to find the Troll Cave. But beware, these caverns are filled with the Witch King's traps. What a beautiful blade, with elvish runes. Barely a pocket knife for a troll, but perfect for a hobbit. But you'll need a name. I know. I will give you a name, and I shall call you Sting. Soon the company reached Rivendell, home of the elves. Elrond told them of a secret entrance to the dragon's lair. A door revealed only by the knocking of a bird called a thrush. After resting in Rivendell, they set out to cross the Misty Mountains. Evil things and dreadful dangers awaited them, like stone giants and worse. I've sent Feely and Keeley ahead to look for shelter. Would you please give Bofor a hand starting that fire? Well, 
there's no going back. Oh, how will I ever get back to the dwarves? I suppose if I follow the edge of this mountain, I'll find my way to their trail. There you are, Bilbo. Crash, crash! Crush, smash, take them to the great goblin! This should stop those goblins. There is more about you than meets the eye, Mr. Baggins. The dwarves made camp just around the bend. Come along, Mr. Baggins. The sun sleeps. And so should we. Time to make camp, Mr. Baggins. They slept soundly in a dry cave. Then, Bilbo heard a noise. In the darkness and confusion, no one saw Bilbo crack his head on a rock and fall into shadow. When he awoke, Bilbo was alone. Ah, oh, lost again! Thank the elves for this glowing blade. Dwarf! Hello, I'm Bilbo Baggins, at your service. I am Balfour of the Iron Hills. I am grateful for your service, but freeing me would take the service of a hundred dwarves. Or a thousand elves. Or one burglar. Hmm. Very well. Go down into the mines and find a large gate. Bribe Ugslap the guard and he'll open it. When you get through that gate, climb up to the jail. That's where they take me when I finish my work on the mining contraptions. Free me, and I will help you escape. Bribe the guard at the main gate. Free me from the goblin jail and I'll help you escape. Get back to work, dwarf! the gate I need. <coughs> could you open this gate for me, sir? Please? What are you? A little rabbit got away from the cooks? Well, little rat, if you want this gate open, you bring me the wart stone from Crugby. Fix the broken dwarf lift and you can steal the wart stone from Crugby. Do you like the pain? Ah, this must be the Wardstone. Get it! Get it! Take his head! Ah. 
I've found your wartstone. Now please, open the gate. <laughs> oh, I'll open the gate. look much too strong for me. I'd better not try to fight them. There's Balfour. I need to set him free. Is that you, Baggins? Shh! Don't alert the guards. Get me out of this cage! How? That switch opens the gate to this cell. Yes, but... What about the guard? Once this gate is open, you won't have to worry about him anymore. Hey, goblin! You're just a filthy spawn of an elf! Shut up! Freedom! Time to play! Baruch Hazard! <laughs> <laughs> For many long years, those goblins forced me to work on these dwarf-built mining contraptions. Honor demands their destruction. Follow that path. The minecart will take you out of these goblin caves. The minecart? Looks like this is the way out of here. Nasty, slimy things live here. Lost again in the tunnels, Bilbo found a gleaming golden ring. He put the mysterious ring in his pocket. Then he realized he was not alone. Bilbo introduced himself to the mysterious creature named Gollum. They agreed to play the ancient game of riddles. The rules were simple. If Gollum lost the game, he would show Bilbo the way out. But if Bilbo lost, Gollum would eat a tasty dinner. Soon, Bilbo couldn't think of any more riddles. Uh, 
Is it scrumptious? What have, what have I got in my pocket? Mm. <laughs> Not fair. Well, that's my riddle. Hands is a knife. This string is or, or nothing. All wrong. Now, show me the way out. <sighs> we must go and get something first. <sighs> Ooh, what have I got in my pocket? My ring! <sighs> my precious! <sighs> Has it got in its nasty little pockets? It must know the way out! Bilbo followed Gollum out of the cave and found his friends on the other side of the Misty Mountains. But they were not out of danger. A pack of wild wargs attacked! When they reached safety, Gandalf said goodbye to his old friend, the Lord of the Eagles. At the edge of Mirkwood, Gandalf announced he was leaving again. He showed them a trail through the forest and warned them not to stray from the path. Soon their supplies ran low. One day, the hungry dwarves saw wood elves feasting in the forest, and they left the path. The wood elves vanished. Bilbo found himself lost and alone. Hello! Thorin? Oh, confusticate these dwarves. They knew better than to get lost in Mirkwood Forest. Well, I'd better find them. Evil spirits. Minions of the Necromancer. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? You don't look like any elf or goblin. I am Corwin, huntsman from Lake Town. Hello. I'm Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit of the Shire, and I'm looking for my friends. Did you see 13 dwarves run through here? No, but I did see the spiders carry about a dozen wriggling bundles of spider silk through that web. My friends were not so lucky. The spiders killed every man in my camp including my brother. I am sorry about your brother. You could burn through those webs if you had some oil. You will find some in the camp to the north. Yeah! 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 
I say, Corwin, I found this ring in the other camp. Is this yours? My brother's ring? It's been in our family for generations. Thank you, Gentle Hobbit, for finding this keepsake. The path is clear. Good luck finding your friends. as if three different objects fit on these pedestals. don't cut those dwarves down, the spiders will eat them for sure. Wait, my sisters, there is a disturbance. Who intrudes? Is some creature trying to steal our food? I think I'd better hurry.
Bilbo! this web. We will find them again after we send him to a beautiful sleep.
You killed both my sisters. They were stupid and soft, but I am neither. Goodbye, small thief. are gone now. I'd better catch up with the dwarves. The wood elves returned and captured the weary dwarves, but Bilbo popped on his ring just in time. The wood elves took the dwarves into the elven king's halls and closed the gates. Oh, caught again. Without Gandalf, I'll have to do the rescuing. I'd better not let those elves catch me, or we'll never make it out of here. Elves have keen senses. I'd better not get too close, even with my ring. Bilbo, I thought I'd never see you again. Is everyone all right? You must find a way to escape, Bilbo. My ears may be old, but I swear I hear rushing water beyond that hallway. Explore that hall and see if you can find an escape route. It's time to get these barrels packed up and sent to Lake Town. Hmm. This looks promising. If I can free the dwarves, I'll pack them into barrels and send them down the river to Lake Town. What was that? I found a way out. The elves send barrels down the river to Lake Town. If we pack ourselves into barrels, the elves will make our escape for us. We shall be bruised and battered to pieces and drowned too. But I suppose we have no choice. You'll need to put Gally on the butler to sleep before you get into the barrels. An elf! It's all right. She's a friend. You must make Gallion drowsy by putting three kinds of herbs in his drink. One herb is in the lake behind the throne room. Another is in a small clearing in the courtyard. The third 
is in an old cave in the courtyard. Beware. The caves were once home to spiders. This potion will melt away the thickest webs. Find those herbs, Bilbo. And don't worry about Galleon. The herbs won't harm him. So, the Great Gate is not the only entrance to these caves. The spider web must be in there. I do hope no one's home. take effect, this room will be wide open. <sighs> oh my, that was quick. This will open the gate and send the barrels into the water. I'd best not touch it until the dwarves are packed in barrels and ready to go. Mr. Baggins, you will never cease to amaze. Now you must find Thorin. They won't tell us where he is. He is in the deep cellar. There is only one way into the deep cellars. Through the dark water caverns. It's dangerous, but it's the only way. I don't like sending you down there. I must rescue Thorin, and this is the only way in. Don't worry. <laughs> It shouldn't take too long. Most uncomfortable. Upon my word. Gandalf spoke true, as usual. A fine burglar you are. <laughs> I am at your service. Now to open this cell. That was most uncomfortable. The rest of the dwarves are waiting above. After you, King Thorin Oakenshield. Good work, Mr. Baggins.
I suspect I'll be bruised and battered to pieces. Get moving, burglar! We continue to Lake Town! I do hope I put the lids on tight. Oh! Off we go! <laughs> Dwarves were not meant for this sort of travel. Oh! I can hardly breathe in here. Wait for me! The barrels floated down Long Lake and carried Bilbo and the dwarves to the safety of Lake Town. In the shadow of the dragon's lair, Thorin declared himself king under the mountain. The people of Lake Town held a great feast for the dwarves. Their old prophecies said gold would flow from Lonely Mountain when the king returned. And while the dwarves feasted, Bilbo had the run of the town. Welcome to Lake Town. After a few days rest, we'll be ready to head up to the Lonely Mountain. Go find the master of Lake Town and send him thanks for his hospitality. He'll be by the Great Hall. This is Bard the captain of the town guard. We've heard of your many talents. We have a task for you. I hear they call you an expert treasure hunter. We need someone who can move unseen. Kill the run! Bush. What are goblins doing in Lake Town? broke into the armory. They stole many weapons, including my black arrow. The black arrow is of dwarf make. It has been in my family for generations. Some say there's an enchantment on it. I would not have this filth lay claim to it. Ah! You have the black arrow! Yes, and if you don't scuttle your way out of here, I'll run you through with it. Keep away from me, Toad! What do they have planned? There is an old thief named Malak who spends time in the Cider House. He's been reformed for years, but he still knows many thieves. He may know the location of the thieves' hideout. Perhaps he will tell a fellow burglar. Welcome to my cider house. Best cider in town, or so I say, anyway. Are you Malak? Why do you disturb me, little one? 
Lake Town is in grave danger. Some of the thieves are in league with goblins. I must find their lair. That's a tall tale for one so small, but it has the ring of truth. I'll help you if you do me a favor in return. There's an heirloom that's been in me family for years. The Golden Dagger. It was stolen years ago by Juan and his thieves. It's in me old house, which is now full of the thieving vermin. Use this key to get in and bring back my dagger. The last me birthright is returned to me. Thank you, Bilbo Baggies. The door to the thieves' lair is sealed by a strange lock. You will need five bottles to open it. Two of them are in the cider house. The other three bottles can be found in houses marked by the sign of the serpent. The thieves who owned those houses stole the bottles from the cider house basement. When you find the bottles return here, I will try to remember the combination of the lock. Did you know that there is a secret entrance to the thieves' hideout in your cellar? There is. Oh my. Oh my. Here, take this. Get them out of here. The combination escapes me in memory, but I do remember this. Yeller is to the left of red and blue, which is not next to black. Purple can only lie beside black and none else. Black is to the right of yellow. I regret I can't remember more. But if they can help us, I suppose this is all worth it. I just hope what we've given them is enough to keep them from tossing us all in the pots. Of course it is. We made a deal with them, didn't we? You can't trust a goblin. You know this as well as I do. Your master says you have what we need. Did he do his part? Yes, he has. And I see you have done yours. Together, we will rule this town. Just so we get the bearded ones. You have the map? Indeed. Let me see. The Black Arrow! If I can sneak past all these goblins and thieves, I can retrieve the arrow for Bard. Here we go. Wolves will try to slay the dragon. If they do, then the gold is ours. The Black Arrow. You stole the Black Arrow. It was there. Betrayal. Men, slay the goblin thieves. Fight, goblins. Fight! I have them right where we want them. Now if I can just get out and get to Bard, he can round them up. Thank you again, Bilbo Baggins. This town is in your debt. Good luck on the mountain, and perhaps one day we'll meet again. The people of Lake Town said farewell as the dwarves set out for the lonely mountain. They passed through the lands destroyed by the dragon, the desolation of Smaug. High in the mountain, Bilbo saw a thrush cracking snails. Then, as the sun set on the last night of Durin's day, Bilbo saw a keyhole appear on the side of the mountain and called for the dwarves. They opened the secret passage into Smaug's lair. 
Now is the time for our esteemed Mr. Baggins to earn his reward. You must enter the Dragon's Lair. Bring me the Golden Cup of Thor. Be careful not to wake the dragon. I suspect he will not be pleased to meet you. You can do this, Bilbo. You are the bravest of us all. You've come a long way, Hobbit. I didn't think you had it in you. Be careful down there. If anyone can do it, it's you, Bilbo. You're the finest burglar in the business! Remember, stay away from his wings, and claws, and tail, and mouth. I'm quaking in my boots. Truly, I don't know how you're going to do it. Use that ring of yours, Baggins. You'll need all the help you can get. Whatever you do, don't look him in the eyes. You could fall under his dragon spell. Be careful, Bilbo. Dragons are not to be underestimated. I'd go with you, but... Well, you know. It's time for serious work. Good luck to you. Mm. Just thinking of that dragon makes me lose my appetite. Last, Bilbo Baggins. There sleeps Smaug the Magnificent. If ever I am to prove my worth as a burglar, it is now. <sighs> Smaug! And Thorin's golden cup is right underneath his nose. <sighs> Too much noise and old Smaug will roast me.
my grandfather. Bilbo has courage and resource far exceeding his size, and good luck far exceeding the usual allowance. All of our trials have led to this moment. Now we slay the dragon Smaug, and our home and treasure regain. Ah, uh, and how do we do that? <coughs> you have no plan. Well, every worm has his weak spot, as my father used to say, though not from personal experience. Well, I suppose I could have a look. I do have this ring, after all. I'll creep down to the dragon's lair and see what I can see. Excellent plan, Bilbo. Good luck. <laughs> Excellent. Now find that worm's weak spot. I never doubted you for a second. Cups and jewels are one thing. We still have a dragon to contend with. You hobbits are truly astounding! You will live long in dwarf songs, Bilbo Baggins! You, you made it! Well done, Baggins. Well done! You, uh... Didn't happen to slay the beast while you were down there, did you? <laughs> ah, the tales they will tell of Bilbo Baggins. Incredible! If only we knew how to get rid of this beast. I can't believe you did it! You really did it! I knew you had it in you, Bilbo! Good work! Oh, good work, Bilbo! Thief, I smell you and I feel your air. Come into the light. Where I can get a look at you. I 
I might be able to find a weak spot if I could just get high enough to get a good look at him. If I keep the ring on, perhaps he won't see me. Show yourself, thief. Escape this place, bird. Look around, Thief. This is your tomb. of day. I smell you, thief. yourself again. There is plenty and to spare. No thank you, O oh, Smaug the Tremendous. I only wish to see if you were as great as all the tales say. You have nice manners for a thief. You seem to know me. <sighs> but I don't remember smelling you before. I am the Clue Finder. The web cutter, the barrel rider, and the ring winner. Ooh, lovely titles. But my teeth are swords. My skills are shields. And my breath, death. You know, I've always understood that dragons were soft underneath. Ha! <laughs> what do you think of this? Dazzling! Perfect! Flawless! No blade can cut me, nor arrow pierce me. Old fool, there's an empty patch on his chest, as bare as a snail out of its shell. What was that? Well, <laughs> I really must not detain your magnificence any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving so soon, Barrel Rider. Going back to those miserable... Tub trading lake men. <laughs> Burglar, thieving lake man.
Bilbo told them all about the hollow spot on the dragon's chest. The thrush listened and then flew away toward Lake Town. Suddenly, the wind howled. They barely made it into the secret passage before the dragon smashed the mountainside. Bilbo and the dwarves were trapped in Smaug's lair. We must leave this place before the dragon returns. Get us across that chasm, Bilbo. There is a giant ruby down there that belonged to my father, Rhyme. If you see it, please bring it to me. The necklace of Kyrian is in that stronghold, Bilbo. If you find it, bring it back to me. Bilbo, if you find the spears of King Bladorthan, please recover them. Bilbo, I've heard tales of a giant golden serving dish. If you find it, please bring it to me, huh? This hall stinks of dragon. We should away, Bilbo. Now. Find us a way out of here, Bilbo. I dislike this dragon's den. For this, our city was destroyed and our kinsmen killed. That dragon is pure evil. The old songs are true. Erebor is indeed beautiful. I hate to leave all this treasure to the dragon. I have heard tales of the wealth of Erebor. I never imagined. We must leave this place before the dragon returns. Good work, Bilbo. Follow me into the dwarf city of Erebor. It was a quiet night in Lake Town when Bard noticed a golden light in the distance. His men thought gold was flowing from the mountain. But Bard knew it was dragon fire. Arrows splintered against the dragon scales. The townspeople fled. As Bard knocked the black arrow, the thrush whispered to him and told him what Bilbo saw. Three days later, the ancient raven Roach told the dwarves Smaug was dead. And that the men and wood elves were sending armies to claim a share of the treasure. Thorin sent Roach north to his cousin Dane. He called for an army of dwarves to make war on the men and elves. Here you are, Bilbo. The first payment of your reward. A mithril vest. A powerful object forged for an elf prince long ago. No less than you deserve for your help in this quest. And now I have a very important task for you. The Arkenstone, the heart of the mountain, is locked in the treasury. Find a way into the treasury and bring me that stone. You will need to open those doors first. Talk to Oin and see what help you can give him. I would trade all the riches in these halls for that one jewel, Mr. Maggie. Bring me the Arkin Stone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Treasure chamber open. Open the treasure chamber, you... Stone, the heart of the mountain. Bilbo decided to stop the stupid and selfish war before it could begin. He took the Arkenstone as his rightful share of the treasure and gave it to Bard and the Elven King. They offered to exchange the Arkenstone for the gold Smaug had stolen from them, but Thorin refused and cursed Bilbo. The next day, a legion of dwarves arrived, led by Dane, and three armies met on the field of battle. Anger was in the air. The men had lost their homes and loved ones. The elves knew what it was to suffer under Smaug and wanted to help the men rebuild. But Thorin would hear none of it, and so it turned to war. upon you all. The goblins of the north are coming. Behold, they ride upon wargs. The leaders gathered for council with Gandalf and joined forces against the goblins. Bilbo decided to take his stand on Ravenhill, among the elves. Bold's army advances on the lake men from behind, and Bard knows nothing of this attack. We need someone to deliver Bard a warning. The battle is fierce and dangerous. Who stands the best chance of making his way through? I can do it. They can't hit me if they can't see me, and I'm faster than those ugly goblins. You have completed your tasks, Bilbo. And I would rather not risk you to this terrible battle. But if you are determined to go, I will not stop you. Use both your ring and your wits. If we lose Bard, we lose the day. Good luck, Bilbo. Coward! 
Goblins! Come out and fight! Those goblins have us pinned down! Use your ring and get us out of here, Bilbo! True warrior, Bilbo. We owe you our lives. I didn't think I was going to survive, Hobbit. Thank you. I'm looking for Bard. We'll have to go through there, but it's full of goblins. I'll help. While you run through the gauntlet, I'll pick off the goblins with my bow. Ready? Do I have a choice? Have an arrow, goblin! And one for you, too! I've got you, Bilbo! Come on through! What are you doing here, Bilbo? Gandalf sent me. A large troop of goblins flanks you from behind. So, we have a party on the way. It sounds like fun. Much thanks, Bilbo. Now, get back to Gandalf. This is no place for a hobbit. Hello there. Enjoying yourself? Your passage back to the Elven King is blocked. Just follow this path and you will meet up with the elf, Liana. Stay with Liana. She will protect you. I have other business I must attend to. Reinforcements are advancing. You'll have to go through there. Go, Bilbo, go! in them whatsoever. If you're an enemy of the goblins, then you're a friend of mine. I'm Bilbo. I have a message from Gandalf. I thought he might send someone a little bigger. Bog advances from the north. We need you to defeat him. Perhaps I can help. Let 
Let's see what you can do. Follow me. Bilbo!
Bjorn crushed Bolg, the Goblin King. The goblins were dismayed, but not defeated. Suddenly, Bilbo saw the eagles, but then a stone struck his head, and he saw no more. The battle raged around him, a battle of five armies. The goblins were driven from the lonely mountain, but Thordim, king under the mountain, lay dying. He asked Bilbo for forgiveness. In his heart, he wished he had been more like the Hobbit, valuing food and cheer above hoarded gold. The old prophecies had come true. The dragon was gone, and gold flowed down from the mountain to rebuild Lake Town. Men, elves and dwarves had a new chance to unite against future dangers. Bilbo bade farewell to his friends, took only two small chests of gold, and began his journey home. He had many hardships and adventures before he got back, but that's another story.
This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins. Game over. <laughs>